Hey, Greg Silver with uh, Black Belt Excellent. It is October, uh, National Bully Awareness Month. Uh, my idea when we do these um, uh, lessons that it starts at the very beginning of the class when we do our warm up. That's when we're going to introduce that is is National Bully Awareness Month. Then you're going to talk about during class. You're going to end up with the match at the end. The kids are going to go home and they have their worksheets. So it really immerses them in the topic because we really want them to get empowered, not just, not just hear the word uh, bully awareness. So we're going to start by doing drills. And I want you to design a drill where you're evading a punch, evading a push, evading a kick, whatever. I just, instead of blocking, we're just not going to be there. So someone's going to throw a punch in addition to getting the block up there. I'm also moving my head out of the way. Or if someone's doing a kick, I'm gaining some distance so he can't reach me. But the, again, the idea is we're just not going to be there. I don't know if that was something from Karate Kid or from Bruce Lee. Just don't be there. But we don't want to be there when the punch or the kick comes. And we're just going to evade that. So whatever you do in your system, if you're doing kickboxing, whatever, um, person's trying to tackle you, you're gaining distance. But you just don't want to be there where the person can hit you, the person can grab you, or the person can kick you. That's going to be your warm-up. So you're just doing that evading. I mean, you can even do shoulder touches. Um, where uh, you're putting the, the timer on for like one minute. The kids are opposite each other. And they're trying to touch the other person's shoulder. You can't block that. You just got to move away so you don't get hit. You can do tag and knee. Same type of uh, thing. You know, you're trying to tag the person's knee. And the whole idea is you don't want to be there. Because if you're not there, you're not going to get hit. So then we're going to sit down the kids. They're going to be a little bit tired. We're just going to have a little chat. Hey, guys, you know, this is National Bully Awareness Month, October, and it's our job to really help you guys stay safe in bullying. And it's your job to maybe protect other kids in class because you're more trained in this type of awareness. If someone is, gets, is getting bullied in school, I imagine it's not like right in front of a teacher. I mean, uh, uh, these bullies may not be the smartest people on the planet, but they don't want to get uh, um, called out or, or reprimanded or get expelled from the school. So what does it usually happen? Uh, does it happen in the stairway? Does it happen like in uh, the restroom? And just have them give you some ideas. Hey, guys, let's go back to what we did in class today. We tried to evade things. We didn't want to be there when you're being shoulder tagged or knee tagged or the punch or kick. The whole idea was to move, lose, use lateral movement, uh, move away, gain more distance. But we didn't want to be there when the punch or tag happened. Same thing with bullying. You know that you, you're more pr uh, prone to bullying in these situations where the teachers aren't around. So how do you avoid getting bullied? Yeah, don't be there. It's the same thing with the punch or kick. If you know that something happens in the restrooms during these periods, don't be there. You know, uh, pick a different time. If something happens after lunch in the, the uh, um, playground, you know, don't be there. You know, I tell that same thing with my adult students. If they're worried about self-protection, and I say, if you park your car at the, end of the other end of the parking lot instead of by the store, are you more likely to get attacked or less likely? More. Why? Because you're away from where people are around. And if you're by yourself, it's easy for someone to attack you, steal you, rob you, whatever it's going to happen. Same thing with you guys. If you don't want to get bullied, there's a lot of things you can do. We talk about becoming friends with more people. Last week, we talked about being confident and learning that second language, which is body language. And today is avoiding being put in a situation where it could be happened. Just don't be there. So that's your last lesson for um, bully prevention. Hope you're doing uh, really good as far as coming up with your seminar. If you haven't uh, looked at the seminar that I put on uh, Greg Silva Coaching, take a look at that. It's all about becoming part of the Bully Prevention League. It's something kids will be really proud of. Enjoy.